Welcome to the lecture videos on high voltage engineering. In today's, uh, in this video, we are going to discuss what is the and what is an impulse voltage and what is the difference between switching impulse voltage and the lightning impulse voltage. So, uh, first we let, let us discuss what is an impulse voltage. In the time in, in our in the world of uh, AC power or in the world of power systems, we have actually three types of voltages. Number one, we have either <coughs> the DC voltages or either we have an AC voltage or another third type is the impulse voltage. Now, impulse voltage is what which is the unidirectional, DC voltage is also the unidirectional, but AC voltage is the bidirectional. So, impulse voltage is one of its kind and uh, then as you know that DC voltage is a type of voltage whose magnitude retains for the infinite period of time. AC voltage is a type of voltage whose magnitude is like changes its polarity and and it is normally sinusoidal. And what is an impulse voltage? Impulse voltage is a type of voltage uh, which is like this, it reaches it peaks in a minimum possible time and then decays. So, this is an impulse. And in your in, theoret in theoretical uh, literature, impulse vol impulse is normally represented by this straight line. This is imp impulse voltage. But practically, as you know, there will be some time for rise of this voltage, and there will be some time for the fall of this voltage. So uh, this is an impulse voltage which rises and then falls down to its 0 value. So, this is an impulse voltage and uh, typically the rise time is in microseconds to is in microseconds and fall time may be microseconds to millisecond. These are the uh, practical characteristics of an impulse voltage. So, now uh, let us discuss uh, what is the switching impulse voltage and what is the lightning impulse voltage because uh, these uh, two voltages are, wa are what which are commonly observed in your electric power systems. So, uh, what is the lightning impulse voltage? So, uh, let us say you have a power system, you have a a three phase transmission line and on the three phase uh, transmission line you have like uh, a, a, a bus a three phase bus bar and either you have uh, the a three phase transformer and whatever you have in the power system. So, when uh, the lightning strikes hit this transmission line, either it can hit this transmission line, it can hit the bus bar, it can hit the transformer. So, when there, when there is a lightning stri strike hit one of the component of the power system which are which is under the in the open air. So, what happens in the vo in the system you observe the voltage, you observe the voltage surge because this is an additional voltage and your system is working on the sinusoidal voltage. So, what happens is that this voltage gets to imposed on this voltage. So, and the lightning voltage is uh, similar to the impulse voltage. What happens? You, you get a high voltage surge uh, which decays down. So, this is what the light, lighting impulse voltage. Now, what is the switching impulse voltage? So, again uh, let us uh, for the moment we ignore the lightning strikes. This is your power system and obviously, an electric power system mm, does not comprise com, uh, com only the single transformer. It has several bus bars and uh, it has several transformers. 
So, what happens if you open up this transformer or remove this transformer and the corresponding load from the system, what happens? You are doing a switching, you are performing a switching action, you are actually opening up the transformer, you are removing this transformer from the system or in case of any fault, this load is removed from the system or you turn off the light during the load shedding hours. So, what happens? We, we observe an impulse in the system, we observe the high voltage surges, we observe the high voltage surge in the system. Now, why this high voltage appears? This is because of the back EMF. What is this? This is because of the back EMF the, or you can say this is due to the stored energy in the inductive load which appears back in front of you in the form of uh, so in the form of high voltage impulses. So, uh, this is what the known as the switching impulse voltage. Now, the wave shape of the switching impulse voltage uh, is similar to the lighting impulse voltage, but what is the key difference is that the switching impulse voltage appears for the large time duration while the lightning impulse voltage appears for the less time duration. So, when the time duration is more, when the time duration is large, it means that the impulse wave waveform will, will, will be having some <coughs> proper rise time and then you have some default time. It means that the area under the curve of the switching impulse voltage is large. It, ha it is having the large area under the curve, while the lightning impulse voltage, the area under the lightning impulse voltage is less. So, when the area is large under the switching impulse voltage, it means that it contains more energy, while the lightning impulse voltage contains less energy because area under the curve is less. So, this is the key difference between the lightning impulse voltage and the switching impulse voltage. The switching impulse voltage has high rise time or its rise time is more than the rise time of sorry, its rise time is typically they can be either the same and the lightning impulse voltage has minimum rise time, it reaches its peak in a less time while the switching impulse voltage has the high rise time, it reaches its peak in a time greater than the lightning impulse voltage reaches its peak. But the fact here lies with the fall time. The fall time of the switching impulse voltage is more, while the fall time of the lightning impulse voltage is less, because this, this lightning impulse voltage is created by the lightning strike, while the switching impulse voltage is created is, is, uh, occur, is occurred in the system because of the stored energy in large number of inductive loads. So, that is why <coughs> switching impulse voltage contains more energy while lightning impulse voltage contains less energy. When you have more energy, it is more destructive as well and lightning impulse voltage again this is destructive because it reaches its peak in a less time. So, both of them are not good for your power system. So, uh, as we have discussed about the rise time and the fall time, the rise time is also known as the wave front time and the fall time is also known as the wave tail time. So, we have two other terms which are also common in the literature, one is the wave front and one is the wave tail and the wave tail is associated with the uh, 
with the waveform from its peak to the minimum value and the wave friend is associated with the waveform from 0 to peak value. So, this is wave friend and this is wave tail. So, the corresponding times the wave tail time is the time required for a waveform for the impulse waveform to reach from the peak value to its minimum value and the wave friend time is the time required by the impulse waveform to reach from 0 to its peak value. And another most another important difference between switching impulse voltage and lightning impulse voltage is like that the switching impulse voltage can be either in this in the wave shape or the wave form of the switching impulse voltage can be either in this way like it is it is reaching its peak and then decaying or it can also be in the form of the following pattern it can be in the form of os oscillations it can be oscillatory how it can be it ha it, it may have following uh, oscillations like uh, like this is the uh, these then these are the oscillations associated with the switching impulse waveform so switching impulse waveform can be either oscillatory in nature or it can be either a simple uh, single impulse waveform but lightning impulse voltage is typically it is not in the form of oscillations and the uh, and this and this oscillatory waveform so its frequency ranges from uh, few uh, few hundred hertz to the few kilohertz okay the wave the, the frequency of these oscillations ranges from this and uh, one more thing is the wave front time and the wave front time is uh, normally of the switching impulse waveform if you have a switching impulse waveform its uh, wave uh, wave front time is typically it is around 0.1 to 10 millisecond and the wave tail time the wave tail time this is the wave tail time or it it, it is uh, around 1 to several milliseconds so switching uh, impulse waveform the sw switching impulse voltage has high wave front time and as well as it is it has high wave it has greater wave tail time while on the other hand the lightning waveform if it is lightning impulse voltage then its rise time is around 1 to 2 microseconds only and the wave tail time is around it is up to 50 microseconds. So, lightning impulse voltage quickly rises and quickly decays while switching impulse waveform rises in a time in, in, a, in a more time as compared to the lightning impulse waveform and decays in a greater time as compared to the switching uh, as compared to the lightning impulse waveform. So, here we have discussed the key differences between the switching impulse uh, waveform and the lightning impulse waveform and we have also discussed what is an impulse voltage. So, in our next upcoming video lecture we are going to discuss how to generate these voltages. So, by now we will be thanks we will be meeting you in our next lecture.